Hello and welcome back to the Craft Box. My name is Brent, and today we are on episode 293 of the Death Walkthrough. Last time, if you haven't checked it out already, we um, were in the mines. We saved Hans. Um, we 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 freed people in the factory. And today we are searching for witches in the witch tunnel because apparently, which I don't know which tunnel we're going in, but apparently this is a witch tunnel. Who knows? Um, but yeah, we'll see what's in here, and hopefully we can defeat some witches. But if you haven't checked out last episode, go do that before. Um, because you're gonna not understand what's happening. Oop, hello. Curses! This treacle stuff is alchemically indestructible! I cannot believe anyone eats it! It will outlast us all! Well, it will certainly outlast this little off world as a mole girl has brought us! Hmm, interesting dialogue. Ladies, can we talk about this? Use our words? Curses! No, I did not think so. Hmm, interesting. Right, let's do this fight. Um, these guys are rank 18, rank 18 elite, um, which is cool. Storm and Ice. Let's do this on camera because they're elites, and I guess that's kind of what we're fighting at the moment. Um, instead of mobs, they're elites. Um, so Ice, uh, 4,865 health, and the Storm, 3,495. Not too difficult. Um, just like most things in Caramel here, not too bad. Um, I do expect the Ice to use quite a few tower shields and such, so that's something to just slightly be, um, cautious about. But, you know, it may not happen while we're here. Also, we're going second again. I don't like this. Can we just go first? Can we just go first, please? That would be fantastic. Would be really cool. Kabam. Lovely. Love to see it. Right. And a blade. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Lovely wee blade. And hopefully a scarecrow will kill. Probably. Maybe. Most likely. As long as there's no shields. Because <laughs> that could happen. Um, natural attack. Okay, I love their natural attack. It's so cool. The witch's natural attack is so cool. This also should have been the death spell, just saying. Something with these witches. That would have been cool. That would have been really cool. But hey, apparently that's just not how it works. Not how it works. Oh well. Crit, lovely. Kabam. And... Kabam. Love to see it. We did not kill. Oh no. Also, there's a frozen armor, so... <laughs> that's even worse than a tower shield. You kind of have to drain in order to get that off, um, or use a drain, um, otherwise you're just going to hit for a whole bunch. I don't know how many pips, or how many, how much absorb that is, but Frozen Armor, generally not the greatest spell for them to cast. Generally stops quite a lot, so just be very cautious of that as well. Um, yeah, but otherwise, not too bad. If, obviously, if you're death, you just cut right through it with the drain, because it doesn't actually block drain damage, which is very cool. Very, very cool. I like it a lot. Crit, love to see it. I, I keep forgetting that crit is not 100%, it was like 100% time now. It kind of sucks. It kind of sucks. I've already like talked about that, but I would prefer if it wasn't. It just makes it feel less. Curses! Uh, what? No, we do not curse anything. Why does everyone say we curse them? Curses! Sorry, stubbed my toe. Fine, take the recipe back. It is useless to us anyway. Happy visit? You fought the witches and got this recipe? Orson wanted you to destroy it, yeah? So let us... Wait, that is what treacle is? That is disgusting and vile, and no wonder the smell of it drives everyone away. You did the right thing finding this wizard. Now I would have words with this Orson. Hmm, we're confronting Orson. That sounds fun. This is a really cool... This is a really cool place. They got their wee little cauldron. That That is definitely not spooky and scary. But hey, let's go to awesome. Do we, we do not have a we do not have a mark. I am not that prepared. Last episode I was prepared. This episode not prepared. Makes sense. It just kind of happens. Kind of happens like that. Pass the apple brutals. We don't need them. Don't need them in my life. Can we go? Can we can we go up, please? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Gummy boonies. Gummy boonies. Gummy boonies. Amazing. Right. Up. Up this, down this, I don't know, probably up. Probably up. And then you go down to the mines, that makes sense. That makes sense. Where is Orson? Let's speed over to Orson. Float our way over there on our wee little scarousel. And see what he has to say about his disgusting treacle recipe that is probably very, very gross and looks even worse 
and smells the worstest of all. I hate you can't use a mountain here. So slow. So slow. Why you do this? So slow. Why is awesome all the way up here as well? It's just so annoying. It's not very awesome. I saw the recipe, hamster. I know what treacle is. You have been mixing and packaging industrial waste. First, waste is a very judgmental term. All this runoff from Nona's chocolate ice cream and gummy factories, it is still legally edible. If you have to bring the lore into it, I don't think it's edible. Nana wants to expand beyond caramel with the happiness initiative, which means more treats, new treats. So we need to redefine what a treat even is. Take the byproducts of every caramel delight, mix them into a viscous slurry. Is it toxic waste or an artisanal delicacy? It is all definitions. It is filled with chemicals and goo and melty things. Who would even eat that? And how would they feel if I told them what it was? Malibone! Market research shows Malibonians eat anything, and you will have a hard time convincing them without... Yoink! This recipe to prove it! This is not over. You are poisoning Nibelheim, you will probably poison Malibone, and we will stop you. With a boycott! Come with me, visit. We, we, we're joining a protest. Guys, it, it happened. We are now protesters. We, we, we were once professional wizards, um, but now we are professional protesters, apparently. Treacle, treacle, bad for the people. Treacle, treacle, bad for the people. <laughs> treacle, treacle, bad for the people. Orson is right. We need proof of what he's doing if we want to stop him, and I know just where to get it. Down the hall is a room for employees only. That must be where the byproducts are being piped in and mixed together. I will stay out here and distract Orson while you sneak in and take pictures of the waste pipes and treacle vats. Okie dokie, time for some more photomancy. Alright, let's let's show that every show everybody that treacle treacle bad for the people. Because yes, that, that makes sense. Let's head in here. Surely nothing terrible can be behind this sigil. Surely not. Who would who would think that? Not me. It's obviously a sigil, so it means that everything is fine, most likely. Uh-oh. Hello, valued customer. You really should not be in here. The pungent fumes of unprocessed treacle are more than mortal noses can bear. Please allow the Watchamagolam to see you outside. How about no? Um, right, so we have a death and a life Watchamagolam. Interesting combination. Um, but yeah, I'll be back once I have defeated these Watchamagolams. Right, I am back. We have just killed. Nope, we have not just killed. We, we have nearly killed... Um, can we do, I think we can do 620 through a resist without a blade and without enchant. Surely, surely we're that good, right? Maybe? Possibly? I just haven't been pulling enchants this whole fight. It's quite, quite frustrating really. But hey, yeah, we did. Nice work. Nice work. Now we have killed. Ha ha. GG. Easy clap. These guys aren't too, aren't too deadly. Oh no, it is the corporate espionage. Run, run for your jobs. Corporate espionage. Uh-huh. Sure thing. Um, right, waste pipes. That looks very weird. Don't like it. Next! Oh no. Hazmat hamsters. You're the corporate spy! We will not let you steal our pungent trade secrets. What's actually really interesting is in their wee little icon down here, they have a hazmat sign on their thing instead of a Nana's, um, logo. Interesting. Just notice that. But anyway, I'll be back once I have defeated these hazmat hamsters that are rank 17. Um, so yeah, I'll be back in just a little bit. Right, I am back. Here we go with the kill. They have literally done nothing other than trap me this whole time. Nothing else. Um, so I don't know what they're playing at, but hey, they have done nothing. Absolutely nothing. But they're now dead, so they will continue to do nothing. GG. Easy clap. Run! The valued customer is too powerful for us! Report them to the manager! See, they got, they got the hazmat suit. I was meant to take a, a bit of... Just a pause there, but hey, it's okay. Right, treacle vats. There we go. We, we got our... We got we got the proof... The, the proof is in the pudding. We got the pudding. So, let, let's go. That, that That is so weird. Like, look how gross that looks. So gross. So gross. No wonder that. No wonder treacle treacle bad for the people, you know. No wonder. Right, let's talk to Greta, my friend Greta, and see what she has to say. 
about this. Let, let's make sure that the proof is proof enough. Proof is proof enough. Here we go, Greta. Treacle, treacle, bad for... Did you get the evidence? Good. I have friends with contacts in Marleybourne. In a week, everyone will know what treacle is. Now let us go make Olsen shuts this place down. Aha! Right. Oh me, oh mine. That is a cool quest name. Very cool quest name. Orson! More like not awesome. Hello. What what are you gonna do this time? <gasps> I just saw my treacle mixes flee! My friends! Why? Why are you trying to sabotage the rejuvenation of Nibelheim? This is not rejuvenating Nibelheim. This is pumping poison through the world into people, all for gold. It is not for gold. It is for Nana's dream. Why hold the delight that is caramel when we can mass produce it for the whole spiral? At the expense of caramel itself, we used to carefully select the best chocolate at our own pace. We were happy. Customers were happy. Grand Nana was not, and she likes my treacle project, without which there is no Nibelheim. So what do you replace it with? Ideas, not complaints. He, you know, you know what, he, he reminds me of a three-year-old, to be honest. Orson the three-year-old, that's what we need to call him. That's a brilliant visit. Nibelheim can sell the rich chocolate we used to nibble as, what is the word? Artisanal? We just need a taste test. Uh-huh, okie dokie. We need to search for enriched chocolate. Um, it's pretty enriching stuff, you know. I assume it means dark chocolate. Um, and that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Who likes dark chocolate? Let me know in the comments if you like dark chocolate. Dark chocolate's pretty, pretty epic. So much better than milk chocolate. White chocolate is... I actually prefer white chocolate over dark milk chocolate. Not dark chocolate. Dark chocolate is number one. Number one. Number one, but let me know what your favorite chocolate is in the comments because that that's apparently something that you should comment right now, or else I will be very upset. Only slightly though, but not very, but slightly. You you understand. You understand. Okay, wizard, just go to each of the chocolate veins, and I will use my nibble lung sensors to nibble them for the choicest bits of all. Once Orson realizes how much better it is than bunny chocolate, he will understand the true value of Nibelheim. Right, let us find some chocolate. I don't know how to do this. Oh, there's some chocolate all the way over the other side. That makes sense. These bunnies are very, very close to the edge. Do not like that. Please don't pull me. Thank you. Right, chocolate. There's one down here, which we can get easy peasy. Just a hide grid in the moment as well. Makes sense. Oh, and another one. That wasn't too bad. I remember in Test Drum, there, there was none to be found, I swear. We had to go so far to get them. So far. <laughs> right, I really just need to start leaving marks around. Jeez. All the way back to Orson. Holy moly. Holy moly. Get it? Because we're we're in a mole town. <laughs> I'm funny. I swear. I swear I'm funny. Please, please, please like for funny. Ha ha ha. Funny. <laughs> Uh, right awesome let's go and prove that nibelheim chocolate is best chocolate nibelheim best chocolate every other thing treacle treacle bad for the people nibelheim chocolate best for the people it's how it works that's uh, that's our protest line i think it should catch on pretty quickly it's very rememberable you know treacle treacle bad for the people nibelheim chocolate best for the people it, it's memorable it rhymes it's perfect it's absolutely perfect Definitely. Oh my! This, this is wonderful. So much better than Nana's chocolates. Mm. You know who would really love this? Penguins. Since the overthrow of Walrusburg, sweet treats have flooded Polaris. The people have become very juicy. If we sell Nana's enriched chocolates as a gourmet good for connoisseurs, it will appeal to their feathery egos. Mm. The gummies can still mine the regular chocolate, but I can bring the nibelung home and put them to work nibbling for the premium pizza. Kill the pumps! We are pivoting! Drain the vats, write the montage, send out the chirping birds. We have new jobs to do. Thank you, visit. <sighs> Let us go to Olga's shop. We have a long trip to my friends, and we will need the sundries. 
Right, let us go to Ugla. Ugla, Ugla. And we will see what is next. But it is good. We have made best, best things in here. No more treacle because it's bad for the people. Nibble on chocolate, best for the people. It's the best. Absolutely the best. Mainly the best for penguins, actually. Um, the Polaris penguins better, better acknowledge my influence in this decision here. They better thank me for their chocolate. It's all my job. All me, you know. I saved them, I helped their revolution, and now I'm providing them chocolate. It's pretty crazy. I must come clean with you. We know what is causing the sour gummies and the cavities. Not witches or your cabal. It is Nana, the company itself. <sighs> oh my gosh, who saw this coming? Not me. Nonsense, girl. Nana is the reason we have an industry to begin with. They are what made caramel so sweet and happy. Does this place look sweet and happy? I brought the visit here for a reason. To show them the world is hidden by Nana's facade. Yeah, since Grand Nana's happiness initiative, the mines expanded tenfold and there are thrice the factories. It has worn everyone down. Perhaps that is what your cavities are. Caramel rotting, giving way under the weight of so much joy. But the Goomies, we still need specifics. You two must take the samples to the Black Licorice Forest for analysis. I will stay here and recover. You take care, Hans. Visit, let us take a trolley to Gutenstadt. From there, we go to the forest. We will find the truth in this. Mm-hmm. Right, let's head to Gutenstadt, and then we're going to end off the episode, because we can't be doing it. We can't be going to a new area in this episode. we got to split it into another episode. But this is the way to Gutenstadt. It's not quite ready for us. Even better. Here we go. <laughs> Let's try that again. I'm surprised that it didn't load automatically. This is Gutenstadt. There's a nanovator right next to us. Um, very dark and gloomy. You know, there's not a... exactly the sweetest place in the spiral anymore, is it? There are countless of these prefabricated towns all over Caramel, built by Nana specifically to house their employees. But customers do not come here, so Nana has not devoted the same resources to keeping it up as does front-facing towns like Sweetsburg. Hence, the pest problem. If you don't want these little things following you around, biting you, you need to once again assert dominance. We gotta assert that dominance. I'm pretty sure I can assert that dominance pretty well. Um, but yeah, this is, this is a really sad, depressing place. Um, there's just a Nana factory here. It's, it's quite sad, it's just gloomy and... Quite sad. The skybox, however, is really cool. I like the wee little cloud, and then it goes into like a less cloud. Um, it's really, really cool. But yeah, this place, good and start. We're gonna be doing this next. There's Watch My Golems prowling. It's a very interesting story coming up in here. Um, so yeah, thank you everybody for watching. Um, make sure you leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. If you have subscribed, you should also press the bell so you know exactly when I post another video. And remember to craft outside the box.